Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I'm talking about how do you know if your standards, you know, in looking for a man or desiring a man are too high or unrealistic? Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. You know, there's a group of women out there that, you know, they think that you can have a good man without him being a godly man, without him being a man that fears the most high Yah. And, you know, I can't help you out if that's the way you think. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're going to you know, you deserve everything that comes with, you know, your expectation of a man that is basically lawless. You know, a lot of these women are suffering because they have some of the most outlandish expectations. You know, some of these w women are simply searching for perfection. You know, I've heard women say that they would have a hard time dating Jesus, even thinking about that, their standards supersede the righteousness of the Messiah. What does that say about you as a woman if biblically the Messiah was the only perfect man on earth that knew no sin, nor was God found in his mouth? What does that say about you as a woman if the preacher, when he looked amongst uh, a, a thousand people, only found one righteous man and no righteous women? You know, there is a possibility, and I'm not here to, I'm not here to uh, go back and forth with, with lawless, reprobate, double-minded women in the comments. You know, for those that are here to hear, you know, and receive truth, I'll tell you that when you look at how simple how simplistic Messiah was in his walk of righteousness and still was the only perfect man. A lot of women have very vain expectations of a man that do not uh, profit the relationship, but hey, you're free to have them. You know, a lot of women would, you know, wouldn't settle for, or they wouldn't call it, they would call it, that. oh, I got to settle for a man like Abraham. I got to settle for a man like Isaac. I got to settle for a, a man like Solomon in the Bible. You know, I uh, see the problem is a lot of you want you you want you know perfection, and you're gonna end up if you even if you do get married, you're gonna get end up with an Ahab. And we know who Ahab's wife was. You know, I want you to realize something that a man good men, good, godly, you fearing men don't have unrealistic expectations for a woman. You know, there's some basic things that a good, godly man will look for. And in his walk, he knows that he has to be patient, you know, for the, for the, the Ruach to be strengthened in you as a woman. But I don't even feel bad for some of these women when they make the Messiah look like a scrub and listing out some of their expectations. And this is why you get what you get. I'm telling you, man, you got, you got women out there. Their expectations is so high. Listen to what I'm saying. A man can go spend $80 on a date, taking you out to eat. You guys have a nice time, but that's not good enough for you. And this is why these women with these outlandish expectations, they feel like nobody is approaching them. This is why they say, I haven't been on a date in two to three years. Well, based upon your expectations, you run uh, good men off that are interested in you. Oftentimes a woman that moves like this, you know, she's always searching for better. She's never satisfied. 
that's how you know your your expectations in dating and in looking for a man are, are superficial and unrealistic. You know, some of y'all have had your expectations met by a man, but when a good man comes along and meets those expectations, you know, you, you move the goalpost on them. Now, since you got that, you feel entitled and now you're like, well, I deserve better. If I got that, I deserve better. And I would tell men to stay, stay, you know, stay the heck away from you because you are a woman that's never satisfied. A lot of you women are not even uh, satisfied with your own life. You're not even satisfied with yourself. And because you are not satisfied with yourself, you put all of these unrealistic, you know, delusional expectations upon a man. And then when a man comes along, you find yourself like a lot of these women saying, I regret leaving a good man. I regret doing all these good men that truly were interested in me wrong. I don't feel bad for you. I don't feel bad for you. I just hope that, you know, the word says, you know, those that have ears to hear, let them hear. Be willing to receive the truth. But you got to think, man, if you sitting up uh, praying for a, uh, a man like Jesus, you got to understand he told us to follow him. Follow him. You got to think in our natural state, there ain't a perfect man or woman walking around this earth. And if we go biblically, you're going to find far less, far less, uh, you know, women striving for perfection than you will men. That's biblical. I'm telling you, man, a lot of these Hasatan will use, you know, your high expectations that supersede righteousness. Think about that. If your, if your expectations in dating as a woman supersede righteousness, you got to be the equivalent, right? What does that say about you if you are uh, expecting a man to, you know, be better than Messiah? Messiah is not even good enough for you. But when we look into and discern the matters of your heart, we find all kind of, all kind of doggone wickedness. When we, when we take off that makeup, when we take off these wigs, when we take off this eyelash, when we take you down to your raw state, we start to realize you really got something going on in your heart. And that's the reason why you do this as a distraction because you know you can't, you can't uh, uh, be stable in a relationship. A lot of women simply just make up these expectations because they want that as an excuse because they know men don't want to deal with them. So what do you do? You say, well, you know, they don't meet my qualifications and you can't handle me and you, hey, good, good luck. Ain't nobody looking for a lot of these women. Ain't nobody looking for you. You know, you want, you want a man to spend, you got to think whole town full of men and you want men, every man come across, spend $400 on you on a date. First date, you out of your mind. You know, a, a lot of these women know they are so delusional, so doggone crazy that they make up, you know, a fictitious facade. That's what it is. It's a facade. You know, behind, you know, behind, behind the scenes of a relationship, you will jack a relationship up with a good man. So in your standards, you, you, you want men that's complete fools because they're really not going to uh, be interested in you in a, uh, a, a real deep level as far as being a covering for you. I tell you, man, you really, a lot of these women, the, the, see, the problem is, it is not the dating culture. It's not that it is your expectations. You got women that will pass up a good man that will uh, provide for his family, a, a, a man that will protect, be a spiritual covering, you know, uh, a good man that uh, don't have all these baby mamas and it's not a baby. A lot of women would pass up a man like that, chasing perfection, chasing perfection. And you got to think, like I told you, man, ain't, ain't you we were told to exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees, meaning they weren't that righteous. And a lot of these women, when you peel back the layers on their expectations and uh, do they meet the basic qualifications of a simple, good, godly man, they don't even meet the basic qualifications. Truly need to look within yourself. 
as a woman, if you're struggling with what I'm talking about, you might be the biggest uh, contributor in keeping yourself single, keeping yourself unmarried. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking it, gun barrel straight. Bow.